So let's try to get down to our platform and do the little trick they call the MLG water. Major League Gamer move. Watch this. I got this. Easy. Oh! Shalomi Christmas, my homie Christmases. It's good to see you all again. It's been a very long, long time. And now it's time for my Christmas present to you, which is a brand new episode of the Bible in Minecraft, a new Christmas special that's sure to be holly, jolly, and maybe have a few surprises. Let's find out. Ta-da! And we are back in the land of Auden, the place where we've done all of our Bible lessons in the Bible and Minecraft so far. We're here, of course, with our best friend, Paul the Apostle. We've got our Christmas tree decorated, so we are ready to go. Are you ready? Wow, I missed you. Let's go, buddy. So, it's been a long time since we've been in the land of Auden, but now that it's Christmas break, I finally have time to play Minecraft again, and that makes me very stoked. Oh, check that out. I didn't do that. Oh, little Christmassy chests. Wow. Can you believe that Minecraft, the game, actually did this just for the Bible and Minecraft Christmas special? That is so nice of them. Special shout out for this very cool blessing. Yay. So the plan for today's Christmas special, if you remember last time that we did one of these, we built a real life... Hi, Paul. We built a real life in Minecraft nativity scene complete with all the different animals that might have been there and it was really cool. So today I thought we would continue this tradition with uh... What's going on out here? Seriously, why do people think they can just come on to my ark whenever they feel like it? Has anyone ever heard of private property? Okay, who are you guys and what do you want? Well, it looks like they wrote us some kind of a note, so let's take a look. Greetings, Builder. We are three wise men. You know, the ones from the Bible. And we need your help. You see, we were visited by an angel who told us to go and find the newborn Messiah. You know, Jesus. But sadly, we are lost. We were doing fine until one of us wanted to let the llamas lead the way. Always a bad idea. Look, I said I'm sorry, okay? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Who wrote this? Anyways, we need your help. Will you give us a hand? Yes. Hooray! I mean, cool. According to the Christmas story, er, I mean, what an angel told us, we are supposed to follow a bright star in the sky to find our way to the Messiah. But the star seems to be gone, I guess, for some reason. In the chest behind us, you will find all the supplies you will need to build us a new star. Er, yes, what he said. Now give me back the book, you gaffoon. Just follow the instructions and you'll be fine, probably. Hey, if we're writing this book for the Builder ahead of time, then why are we writing it as if he said yes to helping us? Huh? Yeah, shouldn't we include like a, if your answer is no, then turn to page 7 note? Huh? No, this is fine. Now be quiet and let him build. Huh? And this is why I don't read books. Huh? And they're gone. Huh? I mean... I can hear them, but they're invisible, I guess? Classic. They tell you to do something and then they disappear. Gee, thanks. Well, let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay, so we have some tools. Whoa, nice tools. Some building supplies. Another one of those things. 
and Christmas Star Instruction Manual. I'm already regretting saying yes to this. More reading, honestly. This is the most I've read in a long time. I'm not supposed to read over Christmas break. Dear Build Maker, thank you for yes. Big help. You must have much wise. Good. Seems like this was written in another language. Didn't realize Ikea made stars. Please follow instruction to make star. No mess up. Mistake bad explode? Step one, go tall up. Use wood for make tower very up. Star goes in sky. Never would have guessed. Don't be forgetting ladder. If fall down, try water. No oof. I'm guessing that means try to land in the water, which is a good idea. Step two, make star. Use iron, make pyramid. Put light middle. Make spiky from glass. Good for star. Big spiky, bright color. Beacon last. Don't mess up. Step three, question mark. Whatever you do, don't. What? Don't what? Thank you for reading. If like star, please make five star rate for website. No refunds. But where's the rest of the... Whatever you... Y'all, I'm not so sure about this, but... We have nothing else to do, so we might as well. Let's grab everything we're going to need for this. Get the tools, get the materials. Yeah, no pressure or anything. Just build a new star in this guy to help the three wise men find the... Do the llamas turn invisible too? Whatever. This is so strange. I just got to go with it at this point. So, I think the best spot for this is going to be out over the water. That way, if we fall, we won't accidentally hit the ground too hard. Okay, so now I guess it's going up. Doing it old school this time. Okay, let's make like a little platform here. How do I always get wrangled into these things, honestly? I wonder if this is high up enough. I mean, it's definitely a good view from up here. Look, there's Paul. Hi, Paul. Got the Christmas tree. Man, maybe this isn't so bad after all. Maybe I just need to get in the Christmas spirit. You know what I mean? Okay. So how do we want to do this? Okay, so we'll make the light go on the inside and then surround it with this glass so it has a nice aesthetic blue glow. Okay, what did this say to do again? Use iron, make pyramid. Well, they only give us nine iron, so it's going to be more like a flat pyramid. So like a Surround it. We'll try to do the beacon last. It'll be like the big finish, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, that looks good to me, but as usual, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, in case you guys haven't figured this out yet, um, I am not good at this game. So this is the perfect chance to go through our Bible verses for this episode, which are found in Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Jesus was born in Bethlehem during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from far away came and asked, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. Herod was deeply disturbed by this, as was all of Jerusalem. He called a meeting of his best priests and teachers, asking, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? 
in Bethlehem in Judea, they said, for this is the prophecy. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among cities. A ruler will come from you who will shepherd God's people. Then Herod met with the wise men and learned from them when the star first appeared. Then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. But he was actually lying though. After this, the wise men left on their way and the star they saw in the east guided them to the town of Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with great joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down to worship him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then they left for home as God had warned them about Herod. We have to remember what's important here. After all, we have been entrusted with a very special mission. And as much as I'm complaining about it, which I really shouldn't be doing, we are getting to take part in a really cool story that really happened in real life. The story of how we all got hope, the hope of a savior from all of our sins, from just this broken, dark world. And I love that God used a star in the sky to help the real three wise men, not those uh, invisible guys down there, find the real baby Jesus wandering through the desert. They followed a light that God placed in the sky. So even getting to do that in Minecraft is pretty rad. See, I, I don't feel so bad about dropping the wood down in the ocean because it's uh, biodegradable. So, you know, environment. I'm actually amazed that I haven't fallen even one time yet. Let's be honest, would any of you be surprised? So let's try to get down to our platform and do the little trick they call the MLG water. Major League Gamer move. So you hit the water bucket right as you're about to hit the ground. And that way, if you land in water, you don't take any damage. Watch this. I got this easy. Nice off. Oh, I actually did it. I am not going to lie. I really did not think that I was uh, going to land that. Oh, you can put ladders on glass. Seems safe. Okay, so now... Okay. And that was difficult. Man, I haven't built anything in Minecraft in a while. This is actually really fun. Okay, how does that look? Hmm. I mean, sure. And there's the fall of course. And that was not an epic gamer moment. I don't want to talk about it. And you, I hope you're happy. Invisible wise men. Well, good thing I brought these ladders. How did the instruction manual know that I'm so bad at this? Amazing. And... <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Holly, I'm jolly. I'm great. Merry Christmas. Very merry. Very merry. So merry. So merry right now. I'm so jolly and merry about this. God makes everything look so easy. I still don't want to talk about it. Okay, let's try that again. No, 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 no. Uh. Dude. Anyways.
No, why did I do Are you kidding me? <laughs> Joy to the world. This game is hard. So jolly right now. So jolly. Can't even believe it. 12 out of 10 on the jolly scale. Holly and jolly. Don't look at me. Oh, now there's a spider on my thing. Get out of here. Not today. Not on Christmas. We're so close. So close to the finish. These wise men are so wise. Why can't they do this themselves? More MLG. Nice on. That totally made up for all the falls. <laughs> Including that one. And now for the finishing touch. Let's light this thing up and help these wise men out. Oh, thank goodness. I thought it wasn't going to work. Bruh. Okay. This is super cool and all, but now I need to clean up my mess. Pretty sure there was no wood on the Christmas star. And if you think there was wood, I don't know what version of the Bible you're reading. Throw it all into the ocean where you don't have to worry about it. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Environment good. And down we go. Man, for how difficult that was, I really shouldn't be complaining at all. That was actually really fun. Plus, it points to something really meaningful. It's always good to help out others. Even if they have invisible llamas. And we're back. Let's take a look at our work. It's beautiful. That actually looks pretty good. I'm impressed. You know, when it comes to building things in Minecraft, I consider myself a pretty humble guy and don't really jingle my own bill about this sort of thing, but well, jingle jingle. And it looks like we finished just in time for the sun to come up. Boy, I am thankful to be done with this project, but now let's see if the three wise men are thankful for all of my hard work. Uh, was this here before? This was definitely not here before. Do you know what's going on? Okay, fair enough. Well, I guess let's read the letter. Dear Builder, Thank you for doing such a splendid job on making the star. It is truly a remarkable sight. We three wise men are thankful for your help and are forever in your debt. Oh, well, that's nice. Please accept our humble apologies for leaving in such a rush. We had urgent wise men business to attend to. We're sure you understand. Okay. Don't worry, nothing bad happened to us. Definitely not. This is not suspicious. For all of your troubles and in the Christmas spirit, we left you a gift. It is a small token of sincerest gratitude for your generosity. Make sure to open it from the top. Enjoy, Builder. Surely we will cross paths again soon. Wise men. Well, I see no reason to be suspicious about this. It seems perfectly normal after all. So, hey, let's get up on this thing. Dude, this is exciting. Come on, Paul. Help me open this thing. It said to open it from the top, so... Well, let's get on up here. Let's start with the bow. 
very nice. I like the little touch. Not only wise men, but uh, decorative men for sure. Let's see what's inside this gift of ours. Uh, what? Uh, wait, what? Christmas.